crunch time from last night. Elix Skipper and David Young, the diamonds in the rough, making their way to the ring. Went to the commissioner, went to the headers, went to the office, and insisted on another shot against the James Gang. They nearly won that match last night. It was so close, so close, and they're so desperate for that big win that they petitioned Hermie Sadler for a rematch here tonight in South Hill. They're hoping tonight will be their night. And I'm telling you, every time I see Elix Skipper, David Young, I'm more and more impressed. They're both fantastic athletes, both ready and primed to make that trip to the top. And defeating the James Gang will elevate them to that level. Ladies and gentlemen, Their opponents need no introduction. Let my dog take. Here in South Hill, ready for the rematch against the Diamonds in the Rough. It's going to be an exciting match for fans in South Hill. Definitely happy to see the former New Age Outlaws here in their hometown. Brought to you from the UWF and Commissioner Hermie Sadler. What a great two nights of action we had already. This now being the second night of this tour. Just like you said, bringing former world champions like the Outlaws, the current world champion in Jeff Jarrett, the current world tag team champion in AMW, up and comers like Elix Skipper and David Young trying to trying to establish themselves at that level. AJ Styles, all these tremendous names in their hometown. telling you what, the UWF is bringing you the action like nobody can right here in Virginia. You talk about a stacked up, hey, what's that opinion? Hey, I agree. I tell you what, what we were just talking about before Brian Gerard James decided to make his point known, the hometown, the small towns of Virginia and the Southeast DC world champion level competition unbeatable what the UWF is bringing to these towns and, and more games lined up. Very excited to be part of it. And you can tell the excitement that the crowd generates when they see the stars like the former New Age Outlaws. It's a great atmosphere here in South Hill. And where else can you get the ass cam, Brad? Sure. The ass cam. That's an exclusive. Where else can you kick your shiz at doggy style? We'll have to ask BG about that when he gets back to the locker room. I'm sure he can help us out with that. There's the opening bell. You talk about a wired up crowd. These fans here at South Hill, they've been buzzing all day. When we arrived here earlier, 
before the event got started. I mean, they was lined up at the door waiting to get in for the ultimate experience where you get to go backstage and meet the wrestlers, get pictures with them, get autographs with them, even get to eat with them, and then come out and set up on the ringside area and watch this action up close and what action it is. You mean you did? They told me the staff wasn't allowed. It was just for the fans. <laughs> I don't. Sorry about that, man. Maybe next time. Elix Skipper sends the James Gang to the floor to regroup momentarily. Out of the loop, Jeff. We, we only got a limited amount of food back there. Man. BG James heading back in the ring. I tell you, BG James had a little bit of fun. At the beginning of this match, violated some copyright, and and I think maybe taking the diamonds in the rough a little too softly, a little too uh, you know, having a little fun and at their expense. Maybe he's not quite taking this match as seriously since they do have a victory over the diamonds. Well, you could be right. I mean, they they did pull out that win last night, but I can't say that the diamonds in the rough did push them to the limit. And I was, I tell you, I thought the diamonds were going to pull it out last night. Tonight, I've, I talked to them before the before the event started, and they are primed and ready. Prime time is prime and ready. And if they pull out the victory today, right here in South Hill, I won't be surprised. BG James, I think he is surprised. I think because they already have one victory under their belt, the former Outlaws are, are kind of taking this lightly. He looks very surprised that Skipper has been able to send him to the floor and take him off his feet. Skipper can hit you from so many different directions. There's just one, a big uppercut knee to the midsection, followed up with a big forearm to the back. And he can come off the top rope, off the middle rope. He's even come off the cage before. To this day, I cannot look at Elix Skipper and not see him walking that tight rope across the cage. What a shot! BG, now he didn't get to hit this. Shake, rattle, and roll. And drops the knee. To this day, cover one. Uh, Matrix out. A little cocky from Skipper, but when you're that athletically gifted, I guess you can afford to be a little cocky. Referee Brian Hebner right there calling the action. He saw it. He was able to slip out of the pinball, which is something that just blows my mind how he can do that. It's like it's magic almost the way he can pull his body up and bridge out of a pinball. And it's definitely frustrating to your opponent. He's trying to cover you, trying to win a match and have a guy just slide out from under you like a banana peel. Cannot say that Skipper is not tough to this day. You can't help but mention walking that tightrope and throwing himself off the cage in that water canana. The toughness of Elix Skipper. Did I just see what I think I just saw? You almost saw what you thought you saw. The toughness of Elix Skipper and David Young both. I tell you, Skipper and Young are posing a much more serious threat to the James gang than they're letting on. Looks like Kit may have hurt himself there. Threw that shoulder out. They need to get their game face on or they could very easily be upset. James gang definitely trying to have a lot of fun here tonight. South Hill with these fans that are 100% behind them, chanting for them the whole time. But I'm telling you what, you can't play around when you've got somebody hungry in the ring with you, like David Young and Elix Skipper. They so desperately wanting the big wins. And you play around with them in the ring, you're going to find yourself looking at the lights for the one, two, three. David Young, a lot of times people will incorrectly categorize him as an up and comer. I mentioned earlier him trying to establish his name. He is so far from an up and comer, a veteran, over 10 years in the sport, but he's just never been able to break through to that higher level. There's a blind tag, Brad. Again with the blind tag. That one did not work out as well. I don't think the Diamonds had that one in mind. They crashed into each other after it looks like they were setting up for a nice blind tag double team move. Kip James, I don't know whether he did it on purpose or inadvertently, but he was able to avoid it and send the two partners crashing into each other. And Young again with a miscommunication. Now they're arguing amongst themselves. Definitely not the way to win a match. Here comes BG slamming their heads together. Kip having a laugh in the ring. I tell you, though, Young is, is just waiting for that breakout win. And do you 
think an upset over the seven-time world tag team champions, the James Gang, would be that breakout win to establish Young as a top-tier player and establish the team of the Diamonds in the Rough. Absolutely. I mean, this is a team that can make your career if you could defeat them. Like you said, seven-time world tag team champions, they're, they're on the top of the mountain in the NWA, TNA, and defeating them means you're going to take their spot. I mean, that's how hungry you got to be as a wrestler. You know prime time. And David Young, that's what they want. Out the pound is what prime time says he is, the best. And what a win over the Outlaws. What a, a, a link that would be to establish. You know, I, I can't really condone, but I can't blame the Diamonds right here in the corner for taking that shortcut. They need this win so bad. They're getting a second opportunity thanks to Hermie Sadler here in the UWF. There's that kick just charged the spine of Beachy. And I, I thought I saw his soul come out of his body after that kick. He hit him so hard. A shot for Kip James absorbs the shot and is just fired up. Look at him. He's lifeless. I'll tell you, I saw his soul come out. This is it. Where's the ref? Oh, Brian, Brian turn around. with Kip James already. A, oh, what a near fall. There's already several seconds. The road dog resurrected in the middle of the ring there, able to get his shoulder up. Barely. Several seconds, valuable seconds went by where Hefner was out of position. Great double team maneuver. Shades of Midnight Express with the drop down. Double team, two and a half again. David Young frustrated by that referee's count, but I'm telling you, Brian Hefner is a good referee. He was caught out of position just a minute ago, but he was there this time. you got to focus on what's happening in the ring. Forget about that referee. Beat on your opponent. Wear him down. Make some fast tags. That's how you win a tag match. I'll tell you another thing, Jeff Harris. This is fantastic strategy from the Diamonds in the Rough. Last night, it was B.G. James who took all the punishment and made the tag to Kip, who eventually did secure the victory. B.G. James, if they can put all that punishment on him again tonight, on top of everything that he absorbed last night, he's going to be even more right for the picking. This is great strategy to isolate that same person twice. Absolutely correct. The cumulative damage of two nights in a row facing the same opponent. That's what you want to capitalize on. And here, B.G. trying to shake things up. He's still a little winded. Wasn't able to move fast enough, and the two ended up running in head first into each other, both being down. Trying to rile behind the James gang. Both men looking to make the tag. Young looks like he's going to get there first, but James does make the tag to his brother, Kip James. Brother, brother, brother. He's Jesus unloaded. Shots. Young sent for the ride out to the outside. Missed that big splash that he went for last night. He's the turnbuckle. Here comes that clipping clothesline over the ropes, and he connects with it this time. This could be it right here. His partner's out of the ring. No. BG able to get in and break it up. He's looking for that pump handle. He hits this. No. David Young. Big four. Young means it. Play, could, this, could this be the play, play of the day? day? Play of the day. Read it up. No. Famous, sir. sir. This is what cost him last night. Cover. Two. Three. The famous, sir, is a curse on the Diamonds in the Rough two nights in a row. James Gang victorious again tonight over the Diamonds in the Rough. The famous, sir, continues the curse of the Diamonds in the Rough.